right, God bless you. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Let me move this out of the way. This Monday morning, God bless your heart. Let me do this. Below this, God bless you people, below this post, I did a post. Uh, mm. Okay, okay. I did a post and and I, I forgot that this thing don't upload good. But anyway, I did a post below this dealing with churches don't have Bible study. They have denominational studies. They have false prophet studies. We, probably we were teaching on yesterday on a certain topic. And well, Saturday, and the Bible uh, speaks about Jesus spoke about that described in the Pharisee and the hypocrite. They will compare. Oh, I need that. I need to get that. I need to get that. They will compass the sea. Do I have that real down? Matthew 23, 13. You're not having Bible study. You're not searching the scripture. You ain't doing it. Now you are. I'm not talking about you. You're not doing it. You ain't, you ain't trying to have eternal life. You ain't studying to show your Self approved on the God. You ain't trying to be approved by God. You trying to be approved by Bishop. And trust in God in Christ. And Baptist and Methodist. Matthew 23. I got the specs over here. I got the glasses over here. Whew. Ugh. All right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I feel led to go further. Ooh, I'm, 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 I'm expecting a call too, so I need Herb to get off here. <clears throat> Matthew 23. Here it is. In 15. Here is what all you churches have it. Matthew 23, 15. Look what Jesus said. Woe unto you, scribe and Pharisee hypocrite. For you compare the sea and the land, you looking for members, followers. You compare the sea and the land and to make one proselyte. And when do you make it? When he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourself. They worse than you. Their fault probably you make are worse than you. They worse than you. They go further than you. You already a fivefold child of hell. You you make them two five twofold more a child of hell than you are. They worse than you. Hallelujah. I remember mean, I mean, the old testament with one king. Hallelujah. The king came up and said, You thought my father was bad, I'm gonna be twice as bad as my father was. The prophet went to speak, say, uh, uh, your father kept not the commandments of God, and you and you walk in the same way as your father. That what you make, you make you in your Bible class, you make you members. You make you members. You make hypocrites. You not such in the scripture. You keep it folks in sin. Ain't no bad guy. Ain't no bad without sin. Don't no Bible say that. Ain't no bad perfect. Don't no Bible say that. There ain't nothing right to no not one. No Bible say that. Yeah, before Christ, under the law, that's right, none right. Read the third chapter of Romans. Get good understanding. 
God still require your tithes and offering. Bring your offering. Bring your offering to you. Bring your offering to the Lord. I preached that one time in private and public. I said, you ain't giving God no offering. You a lying demon. You pay your church bills. And they doing it in the name of Jesus. In the name of God Almighty. The, the Father said, bring your tithe. They use his name in vain. Then you say you don't get delivered overnight. Hey, 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 hey. You preach Jesus. Don't preach you. Preach Jesus. If you fail, if you didn't get delivered overnight, that's you because you didn't repent. That's on you. That ain't on Jesus. Jesus will deliver you right now. Jesus didn't tell that boy, when Jesus told that boy, your sin, saw your sin be forgiven. He, 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 he didn't say, well, you don't get all you want. Right then and there. He told one woman and one man, now you go and sin no more. Right then and there. When you ain't crying, you a new creature. Not gradually, but you new. They keep you in sin. You ain't having no Bible study. You ain't such no scripture. You're making you a proselyte. A church of God in Christ, proselyte, apostolic, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, whatever. That's what you are. And you show a twofold child of hell. Because when we bring you the scripture and show you the scripture, you fight the scripture. Which means you fight God and you fight Jesus. How you do that? Get the, get the good hair. You say, well, oh, oh, who all they see in the last five weeks? Raise your hand. You fight Jesus. You fight Jesus. If, if you have sin, that's on you, right? That means you disobey. Ain't nobody got no hell to put you in. Don't worry about what you can't do, what you can't do. Hallelujah. You're making proselytes. That's what you're doing, you hypocrite. you making false prophets. We bring you a script, you say, you can't take it literally. You fight Jesus. You can't read like no new paper. You fight Jesus. You can't understand unless you get revelation. You fight Jesus. We bring you the script. And show you the scripture. Have you to read the scripture. And you turn around. And you fight scripture. If you didn't get delivered overnight. Or you know somebody that didn't get delivered overnight. They did not follow Jesus. You didn't follow. Nobody came to Jesus. And didn't get delivered. Unless you are a hypocrite. Unless you walked away sorrowful. Like that rich young ruler. You ain't having Bible study. You ain't set to the scripture to have eternal life. You ain't set to show yourself approved unto God. You a proselyte. You try to plead bishop in your organization. That's enough. Thank you for everything.